Hello, I'm children's author Philip Arda, and in case I forget, I've been wearing the cufflinks. So I've got the P of Philip there and the A of Arda there. So if you see me looking a bit later on, you'll know why it is. I'm very lucky because I'm one of the people who's been asked to make a tiny book, a miniature book for the British Library project. Um, and I've had a look at some of them. And they're absolutely amazing. And uh, that's because a lot of them are done by illustrators. And what do illustrators do? They illustrate, they draw the pictures. Well, I can't draw the pictures and I'm not a designer. So I've had great fun. I've been cutting and pasting things together. And I've been using scraps because I like to recycle. So this is an old, uh, these are old file dividers. And I've used them to make my cover of my book. And as far as drawing is concerned, I've just done little squiggles and things. And there's a lot of cutting and pasting. Because the great thing about this is, if you like writing, you can make the writing the important thing. If you like pictures, you can make the pictures important. If you like the design, you can make the design. If you're one of those very, very clever people, you can do the whole thing. But I thought I'd show you the book I've just finished. Um, if I had more time, I'd probably make it more beautiful, but I'm rather pleased with it. There it is. There you can see it. Look at that. Look at that. Full of goodies. And it is called Tim Little's Little Time Left. A tiny tale. So, what I'm going to do is I'm, oh, by the way, that's Dozy Bear over there. He fell half asleep while he's eating his giant donut. But I'm going to be reading my little book to some of my, my little friends, some of my toys, and you'll uh, see them listening as we go along. And you'll have a close-up look at some of my rather fudged-together book. But the main thing is it was, it was great fun. It's about the size, slightly bigger than an after-dinner mint, um, but very, very small. So here we go. Tim Little's Little Time Left. To Little Ones Everywhere, published by Little People Press, an imprint of Leprechaun Press PLC, in May 2020. Funded by the British Library's Miniature Book Project. About the author. Unlike this British Library miniature book and the size of the type that it's printed in by Little People Press, author Philip Arder is the exact opposite. He is very, very, very big, with very large feet and a big bushy beard. His brain is quite small, though. He lives in a place called Royal Tunbridge Wells. And there's a little, little note down at the bottom there. And that note says, I made up Little People Press. It's a little fib, but it sounds good. Chapter one, the first and last, because there's only room for one chapter in a book this small. Well, there is when I'm writing it. Once upon a time, Tim Little had very little time left. Time was running out, like sand running through an hourglass, which is like a big egg timer, or like sand running out of the bottom of Tim Little's little short shorts after he'd been rolling around on his favourite beach with his imaginary dog, Titch. Tim had promised to be at the library at one o'clock, and it was already five minutes to one, the same one when he was supposed to be at the library, and he had more than a little way to go to get there. Oh dear, said Tim Little out loud, so we'd have little trouble understanding what he was thinking. It's very difficult being in two places at once. What am I to do? Just then, because that's how the author wanted it, a little bird landed on Tim's little nose. It's lucky that it was a little bird, because a sparrow, say, landing on his nose would be like an American bald eagle landing on yours. In other words, and birds, it would be impossible. And look at my soup. Superb American bald eagle picture. <clears throat> I'm not an illustrator. I'm Brian, said the wren, which was the kind of bird that he was. I thought wrens were called Jenny, said Tim Little, a little surprised. Jenny Wren. That would be silly, said Brian. If you're all called Jenny Wren, it would get very confusing at the post office. And anyway, I'm a boy wren, so calling me Jenny would be sillier still. You do have a point, Tim Little agreed. I know I do, said Brian. It's called a beak. And just to prove it, he gave little Tim Little a tiny peck on his little cheek. But Tim Little let out a great big ouch. That hurt, said Tim. And there we are. I've done a sort of bird shape, which would symbolise Brian the wren. How could it hurt, said the tiny wren. I'm the smallest bird in Britain. Well, my cousin Ethel is, but you know what I mean. At that very moment, a gold crest landed on Tim Little's little head. Excuse me, she said. I think you'll find the smallest bird in Britain is a gold crest, not a wren. 
She glared down at them both with her beady birdie eyes. And excuse me, said Tim Little, more than a little annoyed, I think you'll find that I'm not a bird perch. He shook his head and both birds flew away. What a cheeky pair, said a passing squirrel. She wasn't that much taller. I should say she wasn't that much smaller than Tim Little. And look, there's a sort of picture of a squirrel. If I move quickly, it might look better. I'd love to stay and chat, said Tim Little, which is what is called being polite, or even a lie. Not a lie as in a little lie down before supper, but a lie as in I'm not telling you what I'm really thinking. Not a whopping great lie, but a lie nonetheless. The truth be told, Tim Little had had more than enough of witching on with local wildlife. He had a library to get to. He looked at the tiny hands on his tiny wristwatch on his tiny wrist, and he was now six minutes late. Sorry, he called out, I've got to get going. Where to? asked the squirrel. To the library, said Tim Little. I'm already late, and there's little time left. The squirrel laughed like a barrel full of chattering monkeys. What's so funny? asked Tim Little, a little put out. Now we're on the last page. You're already at the library, Tim, she said. You've always been here. You're a character in a library book. Is the book named after me? asked Tim Little, more than a little excited. Yes, said the squirrel. It's a little book. Tim Little gave a happy little sigh. In truth, he couldn't be happier. The end. Now, lots of words in my book, very few pictures, and all cut and pasted, but I really think you should have a go because it's great fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the chaps who are listening to me reading my story enjoyed mine as well. In the meantime, very best wishes from me, Philip Arder, oh, and Ozzy Bear, and the others. Goodbye.